Dear students, today I'll be teaching you about paragraph tag. Last time I've taught you about div align tag. Just for a quick review, if you'll open the coding for that program, you will check. Here, I have used div align. Okay. I hope you might have done this uh, tutorial and you might be knowing the functionality of div. So here one attribute that means the property of div is align. So here we have done align is equal to center, align is equal to right means we were using the align attribute. The same we can use this attribute we can use in paragraph. So firstly what is a paragraph tag see simply when you're writing a paragraph means you're writing a bunch of text seven eight lines and you used to give the name it as a paragraph so technically any text containing more than a few lines should be given inside a paragraph tag okay so p we used to give it as a p tag in brackets we used to give it as a p tag so i have already given the coding just to save the time i have already typed it i'll open the coding i'll open it with notepad so this is the coding i'll open it not full page so my whole program is this head title this you all know head section and here i have given the title as learning paragraph tag okay bg color that means background color i have given black and text is equal to yellow of course you can have according to your own choice then now here p align is equal to center and what i am doing with this p this is a paragraph but I'm using paragraph tag to align my text as a center. I may have used div align is equal to center. That will also give the same result. But this is also giving the result what I want. Different, different options are there. So what this uh, code is doing, I'll show you here. This is, this Sofia Corman School, Kalka is coming in the center and this is all due to this coding okay then my next coding is p align is equal to right i love my school then paragraph closed and again as i have told you most of the tags are container tags container tag means when i have to start this i have to close it also so this i have closed and what is the result of this this is this is the result of this code okay again i'll come back after this p align is equal to justify the justify alignment i hope you know very well if you will see these lines of course i have just copied uh, the lines again and again just to give it as a shape of a paragraph but here if you will see from left side it is equal but from right side it is unequal so justify alignment what it is doing it will make the text equal from both left and right so I'll open my coding and all due to this code this code what happened if you see this text it is equal from both the sides from left side and right side so i hope it is clear to you and again as it started from here it closed here okay so i hope so paragraph tag has been clear to you i have used right alignment justify alignment and center same way you can use left alignment also that you can try yourself even if you're not giving any alignment by default your text comes towards left side now another tag i want to teach you in the same program 
this is center tag and what this tag is doing it allows you to put your text in the center means what this tag is doing here p align is equal to center the same work can be done by this also by writing just center again center is a container tag whatever i'll write in between that will come in the center you can check it here i have learned paragraph tag and this is coming due to the use of center tag okay after this after this exclamation sign is there in this tag and whatever i am writing it here you could view here it's not coming then what is the use this is the comment tag why we need comment sometimes in a program we want to point something important or we may think that this thing i want to note it down in my coding and afterwards when i'll come back to my coding i want to go through this point a just a kind of a help so just to point this i can use exclamation sign after angle bracket so whatever i'll write in this way will not appear on your web browser it is just a kind of a help for me only or for other programmers who are you who are using my program or who are viewing my program just to make them understand i can give any kind of a comment here and this comment is not appearing anywhere on my web page so today we have learned how to use p tag paragraph tag okay and along with this all the attributes values and then you are also familiar with center tag and other tag is comment tag okay so just practice this i'll leave my video for some time you could see the output and for the coding you can pause my video here only and just check what i have written and please don't stop here only just you can try your own codings also in that way you will learn okay i'll try to make it up so that the whole screen can be viewed i hope now you can see the whole screen otherwise at last nothing is there only body is there and html so the rest you all can see nothing such special so i have just stopped my video pause my video here and please do this those who have mobile i have already told you what app you have to use and those who have computer or laptops so just take and copy it and just try yourself have your own experiments okay so i'll be finishing my tutorial here only